Thanks for being there. If you're looking for uh, cheap liquor, and hey, who isn't? The airport. If you ever fly from here to the States, uh, you get to take advantage of the duty-free shop on your way down. Unbelievable. Uh, you can't miss it. Big sign. Uh, duty-free, slash, and then the French, horse cat. How many confused Americans walked by that time the first time? <laughs> but we gotta pay some kind of whore tax for trying to buy. Look at that whore tax! Well, I just don't know why they're collecting that from us. The poor cat. When I fell asleep at the hotel, you didn't go downtown and do any whoring, did you? Miss? Go to the back of the states. We'll tell the friend. You save thirty cents on the dollar, but they get you with the whore cat to the airport. That's when you're leaving, just like Mexico. Yeah, you think you're done? Bam, poor cat. They just collect that right there, and then they, uh, you know, they uh, just distribute that to the horse, I guess. I, didn't, I don't know how. I didn't, I didn't ask, but I don't know. You know, the dark van drives around downtown. They, they spot some horse. The windows come down. Some money flies out. They just keep going. Because the horse don't care for conversation. Oh, I saw that on 2020. Yeah. Good for them. The horse cat. Because it's Canada, it gets chilly up there, the whores need jackets and whatnot. Well, that's the thing. That's from uh, McDonald's the other day. I, I don't know why. <laughs> to me, eating McDonald's is just kind of like sleeping with someone you shouldn't have. You wake up the next morning, you're like, what the hell did I do that for? Oh, man. Yeah, and, and then you just avoid them for months. And then one night you come out of a bar hammered at 2 a.m. and you're like, I need some booty! Who's that, Simon? Smokers in the crowd, uh, let me hear you. Right over here, was it, sir? Have you been smoking for a long time? A couple of years? What's it? Only a couple of years. So you started when the, the gruesome uh, warning thing for on there. That didn't deter you at all, but I don't, I don't get it, though. I just, I don't, why don't they just take the same mentality trying to prevent crime? <laughs> You know, what a big poster outside of a 7-Eleven. But a bunch of guys outside of there, it's like, okay, it's count of three. We're putting on the ski masks. We're going in. One, two. <laughs> Look at that poster of that guy getting boned by a cellmate. Maybe we should just get jobs. That would be better. <laughs> hey, uh, you got some spare time tomorrow you want to piss someone off. Go to Starbucks, look for the new guy, and order a medium. <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm only laughing because I did that to the the one by where I live, and just, you can spot him a mile away that he's new. Oh, you know, looks like a quail, you know. Can I take your order? Yeah, speaker. Uh, Get a medium coffee, please. I think you, you got to get a grande or a venti. Yeah, just a medium good. I should call my manager. Here. I just hate places that impose their language on us, you know, make us pronounce the shit that with the way they want, you know, Grande Vente. What the hell? You know who else is really bad there? Ikea. I, I, first off, Ikea freaks me out. How many, how many times you go to Ikea, you need nothing. You need nothing. No, they put that impulse by shit in the aisle. You can't help yourself. You're walking by. Just... Tea candles. Pack of a hundred for four ninety five. Get a couple of those just in case. Just in case what? When's the last time your neighbor came rapping on your door? Jesus Christ, you got any tea candles? How many do you need? 98? I got a hundred! I got a hundred! <laughs> and who, who designed the layout for IKEA? Did they got architects and a psychologist. We want them to enter, but we don't want them to leave. We've been here for hours. I'm hungry. We have food. Is that, you, you find something like here, you think you can pronounce it? You think that's called a bar stool? That's a... Murphy bed, I see candles. No, that's not. 